Hi everyone, welcome back to East Midlands Field Sports. So today marks the start of the pheasant shooting season. So as it stands, every every game species now is in season. So this morning, me and the dog are just going to have a little walk around one of our permissions. It's just to uh, stretch the dog's legs, give her a bit of training, and hopefully put something in the bag for the pot, which will be nice. With this bit of ground, um, if you've seen my previous videos, it does hold a few pheasants, but what they tend to do, when the bigger estates nearby, when they start shooting, the birds tend to drift down to this little bit of ground. Um, but I say, as it's early, most of the shoots won't even start until kind of end of October, early November. And if I do come across a pheasant today, I'll only take one or two, and I'll only take full feathered birds, so more last year's birds. I ain't gonna take anything young. I don't think I'll see any partridge. Um, I have only seen a few English partridge, and I won't shoot them on this bit of ground. Um, there's a chance of a duck, possibly a woodcock, and again, like I said, following up from end of last season, if I do come across a woodcock, I'm only going to shoot one, and that'll be it. I would like to do it with the 410, but I've got the 20 bore today. Um, obviously, pigeons are on the agenda, along with rabbits, squirrels, corvids. So, hopefully, we can get a bit of footage. I've got the shot cam, and we're just going to make our way down walk around the boundaries, stand in a couple of the shelter belts and see what we can get. Well guys, we have arrived to the permission. We're actually got the lake behind us and there's about 30 or 40 geese on there. I didn't go around and try and put them off and shoot them. I'd rather wait until I've got someone like Simon or my dad with me. But no doubt if I let a shot off, they are probably going to get up. If I can have a bash at them, I will. But I'm not really, I'm ignoring them today. So we're just working around bits of cover like this, going down through the shelter belt where we do the roosting, down to a nice bit of brambles along the brook, and then just dropping around in these little shelter belts, perhaps just stopping in between. There has been a few pigeons get around me, there's a couple more breaking out over there, because that's the other farm we shoot just over them bank of trees where we do decoy getting. So I'm just going to put Clover in, start working around and see if she can put anything up for us really. But it's a nice morning, little bit of breeze, sun's just burning through that cloud and early fog we had this morning. Get in, so it should be a nice morning's mooch. Well, that was a pretty half decent shot, if I say so myself. I think I captured it on the shot cam. But we just come around the corner, started working near the shelter belt. And I can see the pigeon. I dropped it. It was on the second barrel, but it was going away. So I know I have winged it. The dog didn't see it drop. So I'm just going to let her work in front of me now and try and pick it. But Clover's not keen on pigeons because of the feathers coming out and I'm not going to over do it. Oh, she's on it now. Good girl, come. Let's see if she's going to pick this. Because I say, she's not keen on them and it's still flapping. But I'm not going to push her too much on it. But she has marked where it's gone. I nearly didn't have a go at it because say it come out. I thought, well, as I'm here, give it a bash, and yeah, it dropped beautifully on the second barrel. 28 gram five with a 20 ball. Leave it. At least we've got some up for the pot. I'm just going to stick this in my bag, get myself sorted out, and then we'll carry on. Well, we've just worked down what we call the brook, and Clive has put about three or four pheasants out, and another one. 
or the wrong side. Oh, that one's pushed a little bit tight. Good girl, here. Good girl. Here, here, here. Well, at least she's pushed something out. That didn't sound very strong, so I'm assuming this year's birds, but I said I couldn't really see the first lot. Clover, here. She's going further afield. This is promising, though, that there is some birds along the river. It'd be nice if she put a mallard or a teal up. But when we was coming down the shelter belt, just after we shot the pigeon, she um, put a roe deer up. Good girl, get in, get in. Which was nice to see. That was a doe, a nice looking doe. And that would have come across this field. Might bump it again, might not. But it is nice to see all sorts of wildlife when you're out rough shooting. All right, where's the dog gone? Probably gone far ahead. Here. That's just down here. So we'll continue around and see if she can put anything else up. Well, we've worked along this part of the brook. Can't fault the dog, she worked really well. She put a fair few pheasants up. There was about four or five in the first bit of cover. Then she put about three on that corner. Then as we come to the end, there were six in there. Most of them broke out to the side or come just slightly level with a hedge. And there was two hen birds, flew well, come straight up, and I missed them. Two barrels and I missed them. First go of the pheasant of the season and I bloody missed, but there we go. All been hen birds, what I've noticed so far. I haven't seen any cock birds. But as I shot, there was a few pigeons. So I'm giving the dog just five minutes now. I'm just going to stand here and see if any pigeons come across. But then we're going to work about 100 yards of the brook on the other side. And I'll stop because of the main road. It's a good distance away, but I just don't want the dog running onto the road or anything pushed on the road. And then we come back along, up that shelter belt and stand around for a bit. So as it stands, I've just got the pigeons still. But we have seen quite a few pheasants actually. But I'm pretty confident I can put another one or two pigeons in the bag and if there's any pheasants at that shelter belt I should have one of them but there's been no ducks sitting on this um, stretch of river so far and I haven't heard the geese get off so I've had four shots now and I haven't heard anything get up so temptations there to have a bash at them on the way back but we'll see we'll see what the morning brings Well guys, I've just had pigeon number two. Again, I think the shot cam picked it up. I just happened to look round and seen three birds come in and the dog kind of partly retrieved it. But it's only landed there. I can hear the geese honking as well. So I don't know if they're looking like they're gonna get up. But so we thought we'd just have a rest there for a minute because there was a few pigeons going between these shelter belts and the main strip. So I think I was just about to move off to be honest. But I think I might stand there for a minute. There was a second bird, I'll give a chance he second barrel to, but I turned too far at the wrong angle. But got the first one, first barrel anyway. I so say there has been a couple hopping around, so two pigeons. Dogs work well. I thought there was another one, but it's not. But so I'm just going to see what these geese do. Because when they get up, they tend to come round this way. But we'll see anyway. We'll see. So I've actually got up. And it looks like they're coming straight over here. Clover, here! Here! It's 
not a very good start. I bloody missed them. They were going some, to be fair. <laughs> it would have been nice to have got one, but there we go. I'm going to call it a day now. It's been a very enjoyable morning. I've been out for about an hour and a quarter, hour and 20 minutes, something like that. And I've had a few shots, and we've seen a few things. Clover's getting tired now, but she's worked really well today. Once she got that burst of energy out, she did work well. She's been in the ditches and the cover and everything. She's put a few uh, pheasants up for me. The only one really presented itself for a shot I missed. And the geese come straight over here. And we were down in the far um, little bit of cover and I missed them. When I was actually thinking about it, I think I had my eye on one bird and I side on another. I think I actually shot behind it, to be honest. But there we go, that's the beauty of uh, rough shooting. You never know what you're going to see and you are going to miss them. At, and you know me now, I do put my misses on. So, um, yeah, we ended with three pigeons, which was nice. So we've got something to go home. The dog's done some training. And say so we've seen a few bits. So I'll give this place about another four weeks rest. And I'll say perhaps early November we'll come and do the same again. So like normal guys, please give me a like and subscribe. And me and Clover will see you soon for another video. That's pigeon number three. We've just moved up. Thought we'd just stand. And I know the shot cam picked it up. I think the dog's doing her thing. You found it? But we haven't got long left now until we go. That's why we're just standing, standing around close up near the lakes. So we haven't got far to walk now. I'll go around and pick that pigeon up. It's starting to warm up a bit now. It's about 17, 18 degrees. I think Clo Clover's feeling it now. She's trying to cool off in the ditch. Right, I'll go and get this pigeon and see if we can get another one. 